This is Chicago's very own WGN Midday News. Welcome back. In today's Style Files, we're talking about taking the best family pictures this holiday season. And Mark Brown from Mark Brown Photography joins us now. And he is an expert in taking pictures of little ones, of your children. And Mark, while you're working there, while you're working with the kids, can you explain why children are much better and more natural with a professional photographer? Well, a, a professional photographer makes the whole experience fun. Often parents make the whole experience stressful. And for us, as professional photographers, it's about the kids having a great time and being playful. It's, it's a play day. We're having fun, aren't we, Sydney and Leo? <laughs> We're goofing around. We don't make them sit still. Right, and you don't say cheese. Oh, cheese and smile. We want natural expressions. <laughs> natural ex expressions, Allison, because we want to have something that we're going to remember the way Sydney and Leo look like in, in 20, 30 years. Capturing them together, capturing them being goofy, as I said, or, or being pensive, whatever it is that is... Just Letting them be themselves, right? Being themselves. And often parents create this stressful thing about that the children need to perform or that they need to give that goofy expression. We, we, we don't want that. We want it all completely natural. And you also point out, Mark, that it's important when you're looking to take professional pictures of the children <laughs> to get a photographer like yourself who specializes in taking pictures of kids, not a wedding photographer, because it's hard for them to capture the essence of the child, right? Right, absolutely, Allison. We, a good photographer that specializes working with children because you really need to know what it is. It's not about the lighting. It's about capturing the the essence of the child. So for me, my background is in theater. And so I want to make it the, the experience playful, as do most children that work with, most photographers that work with, with children. And you want to research. So I know that, that Sydney, you love, you love Cookie Monster and Elmo and Abby Cadabby, and that Leo loves trains, or if there's a child that has special disabilities, you take that time to research. And a good professional photographer will know all of the, the things about the children that is gonna get the, the best expressions from them. So then you'll get kids just being kids. Just kids being kids. That's what we want because we want to have four or five photos of Sydney put together in a grouping that's really gonna be meaningful to Sydney's parents in, in 20, 30 years. Now also, uh, you mentioned that at the photo session, a photographer should never force the family and the kids to just sit still if you want to get the best family picture. Absolutely not. And, and a, a, a photo session could sometimes last up to two hours because you never know. A kid could, could, could cry or, or we need to take the, take the time. So you got to be flexible. Be very, very flexible. And you want to find a photographer that's really going to work with your family and work with your with your needs very and specifically. The, you say, Mark, that you as a photographer are good at picking out that heirloom photograph. What do you mean by that? Well, I want to see three or four photos of Sydney being uh, giggly or, or happy or sad. And so I will show my clients multiple images together in a slideshow about how these photos relate to each other and then actually guide my clients through putting a framed piece that they might put up on their wall. So whether it's a, a, a photos of them together, individually, that's that mom and dad are gonna remember forever. Okay, quickly some tips if you're gonna do it yourself, take your own pictures. Number one, always get on the floor or on the ground with your kids. Why is that important Absolutely, for a family picture? Because we want to not scare the kids. We want to be on their level. Often as adults, we, we make them uh, fearful. And if we're way above, it's gonna make them fearful. And oftentimes you, you wanna be creative. Think out of the box. So you might want to go photograph them like this or look down and, and of babies. So often we want to get parts of the babies. I'll put together a grouping of nine photos or uh, six photos. Nothing but baby parts, right? Body parts, is that what you're talking about? Exactly. So, so oh, the, the nape of the neck or the, the, the chubbiness of a, of a baby, you want to see that. And then you could put together multiple images. That sounds of, really you, beautiful. Really being creative. You also and, mentioned be as inconspicuous as possible with the camera and don't talk about trying to get the perfect picture but uh, you say don't try to find the perfect background what does that mean mark right so often I do a lot in the studio but I also go to the park
follow them. We're not talking about the fact that we're taking taking a photo, right, Sydney? We're just having a great time. And then we're getting these natural expressions. So as again, don't say, oh, please, we gotta do this for grandma or grandpa. Oh, we're yeah. just having fun, being goofy, playful. And then we're gonna get these heirloom quality photos that are gonna be up on the wall for, for, forever. So go to that favorite beach or that favorite park, whether here in Chicago we go to Oak Street Beach or or we're, we're getting the skyline in the background. Well, these beautiful models are gonna have some great pictures here and what, what you have to work with, you can't lose. Mark, thank you so much, Mark Brown, for joining us. And for more on a link <laughs> to Mark's website, you can log on to WGNTV.com slash midday. Coming up next.